We have ignition and full thrust. Two good SRBs and the vehicle has cleared the tower. Both engines operating normally. Two good SRBs hitting peak pressure on the SRBs. Everything looking good. And we've got pitch and yaw programs in coming into normal rates for that event. We have good hydraulic pressure on both engines, good chamber pressure on both engines, everything looking good. Coming up on 60 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. Two good engines, two good SRBs. Body rates look good, nice and smooth. And we've hit our first throttle point on the BE-4. Is everything looking good? And we have passed through Mach 1. We are now supersonic coming up on max Q. We've had max dynamic pressure. Everything looking good. We're rolling off on the SRBs. And we have cutoff on the SRBs coming up on jettison in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to SRB jet, BE fours continue to operate nominally. Seeing expected PU activity on the boost remains. And we have separation of both SRBs. Everything looking good. BE fours continue to operate normally. Coming up on two minutes into the mission. We are now seventeen miles in altitude, thirteen miles downrange. Traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. And we see booster PU correcting towards the nominal MR. Everything looking good. Both engines continue to burn normally. And we now weigh approximately half of our liftoff weight. Everything looking good. And we fired the power valve activating the reaction control system on the upper stage. Pressures are rising as expected. PE4 continues to operate normally. Vehicles continue to fly down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. 33 miles in altitude, 52 miles downrange, traveling at 4,000 miles per hour. Continue to see excellent performance out of the BE-4s. Chamber pressure nice and smooth. Vehicle steadily accelerating, a little over 2 Gs at this time. Good body rates. Nice and smooth operation of the booster. 47 miles in altitude, 95 miles downrange at 5,500 miles per hour. Engines continue to burn normally. Everything looking good. And the vehicle now weighs one quarter of its liftoff weight as we pass through the Carmen line. Next mark event we're looking for is boost space chill down on the Centaur main engines. Booster mains continue to operate normally. And we've begun boost phase chill. Housing temps are dropping as expected. Coming up to the end of boost phase, approximately 10 seconds to BECO. Throttle down in preparation for BECO. 
we've completed boost phase chill down, and we have cutoff. Coming up on Vulcan Centaur separation. We have Vulcan Centaur separation. Everything looking good. Coming up on the Centaur phase. And experiencing a bit of data loss here. We've recovered the data. It's like Centaur engines are up and running normally. Good steady state pressure. And we've just jettisoned the payload fairing. Two good brake wires. Good steady state operating levels on the Centaur mains. Two good engines. We've gone to open loop control on Centaur PU. And we are in the early phases of a 10 and a half minute first burn of Centaur. Everything is looking good. And we've begun closed loop steering. And we're executing our thermal conditioning firings on the reaction control system, right as expected. And expect to go to closed loop control on center PU inside of 40 seconds. Both center engines continue to operate normally. And a preliminary check on booster performance indicates nominal performance of the booster. Centaur continues to operate nominally in this first burn. And we've done our roll to Tedris attitude. and just continue to burn normally. We've gone to open loop control on Miko, and we have cut off. Both engines show normal shutdown signatures. We have ignition, both rust. Two good engines. Coming up on cutoff, we have cutoff. Everything is looking good. Ignition, full thrust. Both engines are up and running. Cutoff, right on time. Everything was nominal.